Well, I had to open my big teeth, didn't I? What's the matter, Squirt? Nothing. Nothing. In the kitchen. Well, uh, what did Mr. Kenny want? He wanted to be rescued from drowning. Tony left the water running in the bathtub. Got all over Mr. Kenny's apartment up to his knees. Well, did you tell him about our play? You bet. Well, what'd he say? What'd he say? He wasn't interested in anything but our bathroom. You mean he won't see it? That's a slight understatement, my boy. I wish I were boiling in oil. Well, anyway, it's fair to with Dottie's father. He thinks everything's all right, doesn't he? Oh, yeah, everything's fine. <laughs> He's taking me away, Monty. I can't hold the little boy. I hate you, Phil Lord. He's very depressing. Marge. Oh, oh Marge. Oh, oh. oh Tony, where have you been? Why didn't you write to me? Oh, it's kind of tied up, honey. What do you mean, tied up? Well, I'm busy and... Marge, look. What, Tony? I'd better give up this idea of trying to be an actor and... Tony. Really, oh, acting just doesn't seem as important as some other things right now. I mean, the shape the world's in and... Oh, but and... Tony, that's why the world needs actors now more than ever has in its life. It needs entertainment and laughter and... Well, someone to make it forget the dreadful things that have happened to it. But more time you listen. The world needs people to do other things, too, you know. Please don't talk like that. I'd feel so terrible if we were the ones that let the kids down when they'd been so wonderful to us. And, and having Mr. Kenny be the play me so much, too. Please don't cry, Marge. We got married so we'd be happy. <laughs> now look at it. Oh, oh, Tony, if you let our getting married spoil anything we've all intended to do, I'll, I'll hate it. Hey, what? The baby. What baby? Baby we're going to have. Marge. Aren't you glad, darling? Please be glad. Well, sure I am, but... And if you let me or want anything we've started out to do, I'll, I'll never speak to it. Marge. I'll slice up from the little thing. I'll have a mother that won't speak to it. It won't be the baby's fault, Marge. Well, it's the baby's part of you, isn't it? Well, all right, it'd be your fault, wouldn't it? Couldn't you even speak to the part that would be your part? Only if you promise not to leave the kids, at least until Mr. Kenny's seen the play. All right, Marge. I think everything will turn out all right. If we can get him to look the play before Monday morning. Oh, yes, he's got to do that on account of Dottie. Yeah. Dottie, well, what's she got to do with it? My father's taking her back to Hoops School, Illinois, Monday morning. Oh, Marge. Well, where will you live then? Why, wherever you live, Tony. Won't I? Sure. Sure. Naturally. Sure, naturally. Oh, I gotta go back. I just came out here to take my medicine. Medicine? Good grief. Does having a baby make you sick? Oh, well, now Betty's really sick. She's getting nervous and you want tomatoes and cream pots and things like that. It's awfully silly how you're feeling. It's all in your head. But this fixes you up all right. You have to be careful, though. And you do? It's one teaspoonful makes you feel divine, but two makes you sick to your stomach and three makes you go out like a light. Good grief, you better be careful then, honey. Oh, let's go back. Marge. What, darling? Thanks ever so much for the baby. Suppose Marge told you, huh, Tony? Oh, boy, I'll say she has. Well, what are we going to do? We're going to have a baby, of course. No, I mean about Dottie's father taking her back. You're going to what? We're going to have a baby. Or are you just... Oh, 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 so into it. Why, you moron! Oh, it's all right. We're, we're married. married. You're married. When? 
in May, and the baby's going to be born in April. Oh. Oh, I didn't mean anything like that. The heck you didn't. Don't worry, Squirt. I think it's swell. Yeah, it's swell, but I didn't think they wanted men in the Army that were going to have babies. Shut up, will you? What did you say? Who? About the Army. What did you say? Oh. Oh, I said that uh, you'll find very few men in the Army that's going to have babies. Very few. Well, what's that got to do with Tony? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Why should it? I don't know, Tony. Why should it? Oh, what's the use? Because I'm in the Army, that's why. The Army, huh? Oh, Tony. We couldn't tell anybody we were married, could we? Never thought about the Army. I didn't know how to tell you, honey. Gee, it's been awful being away from me. Oh, that's just like me, isn't it? Just thinking about myself, not thinking about you at all. Poor oh, darling, you must have been awfully worried. Yeah. Couldn't tell the Army about you, and I couldn't tell you about the Army. I just can't imagine how it happened. Stanislavski. Tell Mr. Kenny. After two seasons with Mr. Robert Mantell, I was with the Buffalo yes, Summer yes, Star. Yes, I'll tell Mr. Kenny. I want to see Mr. Kenny, please. Have you an appointment? I want to see him about our having a baby. Well, there must be some mistake. Mr. Kenny is a theatrical producer. Oh, no, it wasn't a mistake. Mr. Kenny has to come home, even if it's just for one night. Well, uh, if you'll just have a chair over there, please. The young lady out here wants to see you about having a baby. I think you better see her, Mr. Kenny. Well, uh, all right. Uh, you listen on the dictograph, though. I'll leave the key down. Yes, yes, Mr. Kenny, yes. You may go in now. Hello, Mr. Kenny. Out here, young woman. Just what you're having a baby got to do with me. I'm not going to have a baby. We are. You see, there's six of us. Six of you? Where have I seen you before? I'm Dottie Coburn. I live right over your head in the apartment upstairs. Oh, Coburn, you're the one with the maniac father that tried to give me a bath. My father's not a maniac, Mr. Kenny. He's part elk and part lion. And he has the biggest silo in Illinois. Dottie. Oh, gee, I'm sorry, Mr. Kenny. So it's you. I might have known that your teeth were in this somewhere. We're telling Mr. Kenny about our baby. What is she talking about? Well, it's really very simple, Mr. Kenny. You see, my sister's husband is in the army, and somehow they're going to have a baby. Daddy's father's going to take her away, and that's why we want you to see our play before Monday morning. Because Tony has to be back in camp. I don't know what those soldiers are going to say when he tells them he's going to have a baby. Norman gave him a cigar. Well, you will see our play, won't you, Mr. Kenny? What play? What in heaven's name are you talking? Look, will you get out of my office before I go stark staring mad? Okay, okay, we just asked. You don't have to get mean about it. Come on. Is Mr. Kenny going to look at our play? No, he's not. Well, and I won't be here when our baby's born. I guess not, Dottie. I never have any fun. Would you get her out of the office, please? Oh, I know, right. We're going, we're going. Oh, Mr. Stanislavski was here, don't you, Kate? Mr. Stanislavski wrote our play mostly murder. He wrote no, it. No, he didn't. What did you say? Oh, she's just mixed up. He didn't write our play. We don't know who wrote it. What did you say about mostly murder? We just said it was an awfully good play that we'd like to... Good play? Of course it's a good play. It's a great play. But how'd you know about it? No, about what? Mostly murder. Our Mrs. play? Mrs. gave it to us. Oh, she did? Yeah, she found it in an old trunk, some broken down off the left. Oh. What's the matter, Keith? You knew about it all the time. All the time I was telling you about it, you had it up your sleeve laughing at it. I want my play. Why should we give Mr. Kenny our play? He says our play is his play. I don't say it is. It is. I wrote it. I starved for it. I was locked out for it. I want my play. Please give it to me. Even if we wanted to give you your play, Mr. Kenny, I don't think Norman would let us. And who is Norman? I guess Norman's the most wonderful man in the world. Now where is he? He's where we live. Well, I insist on being taken there. All right. Is Mr. Kenny coming with his kids? <laughs> 